Oh blimey, that's sun. Look, play Nick. So how you doing guys and girls? Today, I'm going to do a response video. Yep, yep, response video. New one, not done one before. Let's see how it goes. Morning, number four, please. Thank you very much. See ya. <coughs> so, you should have just watched the clip of me going into a petrol station and not getting off the bike and not removing my helmet so yeah this response video is one uh, well it's a response from XT Donkey um, do apologise mate I've uh, been a bit funny on your comments because I strongly disagree with what you're saying I'm going to relate that in today's video. Hmm. Let's get around all these in a minute. A bit busier than usual. So yeah. Part of his question was, should you remove your helmet while fueling up and also I think in there somewhere was should you get off your bike now if you answer yes to both of them I disagree with you quite strongly so most of the comments that you get for why they ask you to remove your helmet bear in mind I'm not talking about going in the shop at this point I'm talking about just fueling is because they want to see your face hmm let's think about that one you want to see my face why would you want to see my face do you request to see the face of the drivers no and some of you could argue say yeah but the driver's face ain't covered what if they are what if they're wearing a hoodie what if they're wearing a baseball cap I'm not going to bring religion or race into this because I, I could say burka but I'm not going to I'm just going to sit driver in general. He wasn't going to move over, was he? That was nice of him. Yeah, so drivers in general. You don't request to see their face. You identify that driver by their reg plates. Now enough, all the garages I know of nowadays have vehicle recognition. So you could easily identify by the reg without it being an issue. So yeah, the other one was for safety. Now, like I said, I'm not talking about going to the shop, we'll get to that. Safety from who? So what people are trying to say is the moment a motorcycle turns up into a petrol station forecourt, that they are in fear for their life. And they want to see who's behind the helmet. What the fucking shit. You ain't getting that from me. It's a stupid rule. And I'm still yet to understand it. And why it's being enforced. Like I said, car drivers could be facing the wrong way. He's got a bit of a nasty leak.
You got a bit of a leak. I know. Hey. You got some leak in. There's a leak underneath. That was my good deal of the day. <laughs> Trying to be nice. And that, that kind of proves to my point as well. He <laughs> didn't know my intentions. He was, yeah, seemed a bit rude at first until I sort of started pointing to the bottom of his van. And then he was a bit like, hmm, maybe I should uh, see what this guy wants. So, yeah, the excuses of one to two movie helmet is because they want to see who you are. And apparently, when you take your helmet off, they can see what your intentions are. I call bullshit. I actually uh, have never been requested to take my helmet off. And if they did, I wouldn't. Not for fueling up anyway. If that was their reason, that they wanted me to remove it while fueling, my answer would be no. So let's move over to getting off the bike. Now this one I really do not understand why some garages and once again I've never been asked to request that you remove yourself from the bike so what they're asking for you to do is because remember most bikes don't have a center stand I'm fortunate to have one so if I was requested I would uh, I would get off with no problem because I'd put it on the center stand but for those that don't have it and if I ever get a bike that doesn't have it no there's no way I'd be filling my tank on a lean. Now, here, here's a here's a silly reason why I want you to get off the tank, so you do not overfill. And I think that came from XT Donkey's video that I heard that. What a load of crap! I know what. Let's start parking cars on their side so they don't overfill the tank, okay? Let's start doing that, shall we? Like I said, a load of crap. Anyone can overfill a tank if they wish. Having it upright, yes, you could easily fill past the guideline. But then that's the responsibility of the driver. The garage is not responsible for that. That's all. So yeah, the garage aren't responsible for your you overfilling the tank. That's your due. If you ever fill your tank, it's your own stupid fault. I like to have my tank upright so I can get the maximum fill out of my tank. If you start leaning your bike on your side stand, you're never going to fill the tank to the maximum because you, you're not going to know. Like I said, I, st I still haven't heard a legitimate reason for the request of getting off your vehicle. While I'm sat in it, um, I have the bike in between my legs. Ooh, that's what she said. And uh, I've got full control of that bike. I can keep the bike upright. And just to mention as well, some garage forecourts are not level. So I've been to one once where when I've filled up and I've gone to put it on the side stand, it's leaning the opposite way. That's how bad it was. I had to sort of like put the bike on an angle to be able to park it up so I can go and pay. So yeah, that's removing your helmet, I disagree, and getting off the bike, I also disagree to some extent. So the next one, removing your helmet when going into a store. Now this one, I agree with. Now a lot of people say, oh because of my bike I'm going to steal. No, nope, that's not the case. Anyone could uh, be suspected of being harmful going into a garage. Most people don't wear helmets. It's not an issue. You wear a helmet, you're concealing yourself, you would not be able to be identified if you was to do something. So once again, I've actually never been asked to remove my helmet when going to the shop. I wouldn't do it just off my own back. Yes, they would have to ask me, but if they did ask me, politely, I would. 
without a doubt, without even challenging it, I would. No issues from me with that. So yeah, if I was to ask to remove my helmet under that circumstance, I would. Because, like I said, you can't, there's no number plate on your helmet. <laughs> and to be able to recognise yourself, you can't do it with a helmet on. So, like I said, that, uh, that I'd, I would do, without a doubt. But they kind of have to be polite with it as well. It's easy for them to be rude. And if someone ever did ask me in a rude manner, I would uh, politely remind them, while removing my helmet, that I'm their customer. I've come to purchase something. And if I've gone, into, gone inside, it's because I've got fuel. So it means I need to pay for something that I've just already put into my vehicle. So they kind of still have to be polite. You know, there still has to be that customer service aspect. So, yeah, um, I think I rambled on a bit there. I did say to XT Donkey, I may do a response video. So, um, I'll put a link to his video. I, I may have even already put it in a card, but it will be in the description. And you can go check his video out. He seemed quite strong that he agreed that he had to do a lot of these things. And if you look at my comments, in his comments, you'll see that I was a bit of an arse. Like I said, I do, I do apologise for that, but I disagree. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, so, go and enjoy yourself, fuckers. See you later.